Hey, what's up, guys? Joel Benavides with the Block Squawk Podcast. I'm Joel Benavides, and uh, we're jumping into the second portion of our stream today. It's a, like a test stream. Uh, I'm not counting this as episode one. Uh, I just kind of have to run through the motions once before uh, we go live on the on the first. <clears throat> so this is going to be a second segment. Um, remember that anything that you hear on the podcast today is not financial advice, so don't be treating it like such. And uh, and uh, if uh, you need more information about uh, our disclaimer, uh, be sure to check out the podcast and hear the segment at the beginning over at Anchor, or Spotify, pretty much wherever you hear fine podcasts. <clears throat> so uh, for this segment, uh, we're going to be covering basically the news and the squawk. Uh, that's uh, that's the short version of it. And uh, maybe at the end, I'll make some announcements and and kind of like feature a new trader of the day and show you guys where you can go and get more information on that trader uh, for education and such. Uh, so let's take a look at Crypto Panic. Uh, Crypto Panic is a news trending website that I'm going to be using. Let's take a look at that right now. Um, so if you're probably watching this on a phone, it's not super easy to see. Um, you know, if you're at home or watching on TV or whatever, uh, it might be a little bit easier. Uh, but I'll go through it with you guys, um, or you can squint. Uh, so let's go over some top news first, and then we'll discuss what's been trending in the last uh, about 10 hours today or so. So uh, let me pull myself. Let me look at you guys. There we go. All right. So uh, 53 minutes ago from Cointelegraph.com, virtual racing car in blockchain game sells for over $110,000. Uh, another fortune is made on an overnight app. Uh, 55 minutes ago from Cryptoic, Cryptoic, uh, com, uh proof of stake POS cryptocurrencies deep dive a passive way to earn money at home. Uh, two hours ago, uh, Tony Vase released a YouTube video titled Malta Debate with Roger Ver. Where did it go wrong? Uh, two hours ago from Cointelegraph.com, German watchdog warns public about alleged hiring by crypto exchange Coinbene. Um, not to jump back, but I really do want to check out that video on Roger Ver. Uh, maybe I'll come back and discuss it later. Maybe not, but um, that does sound interesting to me. Um, because I've seen Roger Ver debate and I've seen Tony Vay's debate, um, and uh, they can be pretty tough. So it'll be uh, it'll be interesting to take a look at if it's indeed those two debating. I don't, I don't really know. Uh, three hours ago from Coindesk.com, uh, MakerDAO, Maker Decentralized Autonomous Organization, finally approves DAI fee increase after 11-day deliberation. Three hours ago from btcmanager.com, U.S. presidential candidates from best to worst. Three hours ago, Binance is becoming more important for alts than all other exchanges combined, says Michael Arrington. That's according to AMB Crypto, AMB Crypto. Uh, so those are just a few of the stories that have been trading, uh, uh, trending the last few hours. Let's look at uh, uh, overall trending stories. Uh, so five hours ago, from uh, CryptoSlate.com, IOTA launches major network upgrade. Uh, core decide, remove centralized network coordinator. Six hours ago, it's more stuff on IOTA. Basically, IOTA is trending up the, you know what, guys. So um, we should take a look at IOTA. Um, but I'll do that during technically streaming. Matter of fact, I'll make myself a note right here. Hold on. Uh, IOTA chart. Because before I would do that, I would be like, oh, we'll take a look at that. And then I just totally forget. So so we'll do IOTA chart. I just wanted to cover that for basically all the trending news is IOTA. So uh, that pretty much cuts this segment short. We'll take a look at it, guys. Uh, crypto... Top, top crypto heavy traders. Um, Poloniex retweeted something about Circle, talking about uh, regulation. Uh, Bulls on Crypto uh, posted a uh, Bitcoin analysis. 
Crypto Playhouse is marketing. I should get rid of them. Uh, Tony Bay's. Uh, I just like their pictures, guys. I just like Crypto Playhouse's. Pic they, they post like uh, really, it's really solid marketing <laughs> on uh, on their Instagram, especially. You should go check it out, Crypto Playhouse. Uh, Tony Bay's uh, says, so I'll admit I did terrible in the Malta debate versus Roger Ver. Uh, they did their video, which I did not watch. I'm sure it had more lies. So let me do one as well and restate Bitcoin's value over Bcash. Um, I'm with Tony Vase there, uh, but um, I've never been a big, full disclosure, I've never been a big, big Bitcoin Cash uh, fan. Uh, Ocha Ochados um, posted a... Uh, posted a, uh, a chart he's a he's a coder a, a pine coder that i talk about more stuff on the tony vase debate and traders take yeah um wow so yeah that pretty much dominated uh twitter tyler winkleboss from gemini is in san francisco uh boosting gemini uh luke martin talking about uh how congress is uh let's see this guy sherman talking about outlawing cryptocurrencies yeah right um that's actually pretty interesting we should check that out later i'll just retweet it real quick all right so those are just a few of what's going on 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 twitter and um i'll get better at uh I kind of streamlining this i'm sure over uh, over the course of the next couple of months let's take a look at coin market cap and do the squawk real quick guys we're gonna run through the uh 20 to 20 to 11 quickly and then do the uh solid full side squawk for the top 10. so neb coming in at 20th trading at nine cents neo and at 19th trading at 12 and 63 ethereum classic etc in it 18 trading at 8 and 22 cosmos adam in at 17 trading at 4 and 78 tezos xtz in at 16 trading at 1 and 58 iota by the symbol myota or myota by the symbol iota or whatever it is uh in at 15th by market cap trading at 47 cents dash in at 14th trading at 169 and 51 monero in at 13 trading at 96 even bsv in at 12th trading at 121 and 55 and tron in at 11th trading at uh just over three cents Moving on to the top 10 squat guys, Cardano ADA in a 10th by market cap, trading at 9 cents, and that is up 2.68% on the day. Stellar XLM in at 9th by market cap, trading at 13 cents, up 1.79 points on the day. Tether USDT in an 8th by market cap, trading at 99 cents, down nearly half a point on the day. Binance Coin BNB in at 7th, trading at 33 and 46, down 1.59 points on the day percentage points uh, litecoin ltc in at six trading at 114 and 64 down 1.51 points percentage points on the day eos by the same symbol in at fifth trading at eight and one that's up a, a two percent even on the 24-hour period bitcoin cash in at fourth by market cap trading at 434 and 45 that's down nearly three quarters of a point for the day three quarters of percentage point xrp by the symbol xrp and at third that's ripple and that's up uh let me see 3.95 points i didn't tell you guys how much it was right it's uh 44 cents for ripple uh ethereum etc i'm sorry eth eth in its second by market cap trading at 271 and 74 that's up 0 0.36 percentage points on the day and bitcoin of course in at first by market cap it's trading today at eight thousand seven hundred thirteen dollars and sixteen cents and that's down 0 0.78 percent on the day uh, market cap rests at 154.4 billion that's gonna do it for the squat guys the uh, crypto 20 and uh let's take a quick look at the chart uh, we can see here uh, that we're in an upward trend and uh, pushing through uh, soft levels of support and resistance the hard levels up there at 9861 so uh, if we make it up there um, every single time I've said that Bitcoin is uh, looking at a, uh, a hard uh, uh, resistance level like we were right here around what was that 8150 approximately uh, we push through it uh, so that may continue uh, but um, there I think I think there's a, a relatively strong level of resistance 
at 98.50 and then also the psychological level guys at, at 10k uh, so we'll see if we make it past that I'm not sure that we are uh, but um, we'll continue to monitor and we'll be back with you in force on the first uh, so that's going to do it for the candle chart uh, on the one hour. Let's take a look at the trader of the day. I just wanted to mention this briefly. Again, as I as I uh, continue to do this, this whole process is going to get probably smoother. But I want to talk to you guys about Scott Barkley. He comes out on uh, Two Blokes Trading is where I first heard him. That's a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant episode. So if you uh, pull up Scott Barkley and Two Blokes Trading... Uh, check that episode out because uh, he gives you some like real practical actionable information talks fast uh, just a really uh, interesting guy uh, with a long history uh, of trading markets and uh, and also an excellent educator um, so be sure and check him out and I'll try to put uh, links to his stuff in the show notes and that's gonna do it for us guys I'm gonna get out of here because like I said I'm trying to run through um, the new format to see where the hiccups are and what we can do to iron them out. So, but uh, please remember that nothing you heard on the podcast stream, whatever is um, is financial advice. And we're gonna get out of here. A Bitcoin, uh, I'm sorry, Block Squawk is listener supported. So if you want to head over to Anchor.fm forward slash Block Squawk and uh, strike that support this podcast button, that would of course help uh, immensely in the longevity support. And improvement uh, block squad um, and then of course uh, warm words of encouragement or uh, constructive criticism is always welcome you can reach out to me on Twitter uh, I'm at Joel Benavides down there at the bottom of the screen and uh, that's gonna do it for us guys we're out of here cheers